Hi, Misha here, and happy Thanksgiving. And for the holiday, Jay and I both picked two guns we acquired this year, 2019, that we are thankful for, for one reason or another. So, limiting it to this year, otherwise it'd be kind of hard to, to pick. And since he kind of went... In one direction, I thought I would kind of go with the opposing platform. So my picks are from the Kalashnikov family. Both of these I picked up this year. One used, obviously, and one new. And these are both guns I'm happy to have. And honestly, neither one are guns that I've set out to, to pick up. On top, we have a Bulgarian Arsenal SA-93, which is a full converted version. And on the bottom, have a Kalashnikov USA. KR-9 Carbine. The top is chambered for the classic 7.62x39 cartridge and feeds from standard AR, excuse me, AK mags. And the bottom is chambered for 9mm NATO 9x19 and feeds from 50 as Sega 9 type mags. And yeah, these have both actually been fun shooters. The story on the uh, SA-93, of course, as most of you know, this was the first Bulgarian import to come in. They just came in for a few years. They were all 1989 and also 1994 compliant guns, meaning they would come in with them whole stocks, Wood furniture, no bayonet lug, a non-threaded barrel. But on the other hand, they had an original cold hammer forged chrome line barrel. And they had an original milled receiver that took standard capacity double stack mags. And of course, this started... The whole arsenal line off. Of course I knew about them, but the conversion is relatively intensive and just I never had the time. Well this year actually not one, but two got traded into the store. And so I thought, why not? I kept the better of the two, I thought. It came with ironwood furniture. I replaced it with original Bulgarian so-called Bakelite furniture, although this buttstock's kind of made out of a crayon, as is the pistol grip, and the handguards are the AG4 material like your AK-74 mags. These guns get a lot of acclaim, and I have other milled arsenals, but it's nice to have the first one, and it's very smooth, a very nice nice shooter and uh, really kind of contributes to my AK collection. Oh, and I installed a rear sling swivel here. These usually don't have them. But a true milled gun. The Bulgarian milds are really the only ones to come in after the Chinese. <clears throat> and for more on this gun, we have a couple of videos. Yeah, I can check them out in the playlists. As for the KR-9, as I've said, this wasn't one I was really excited about. I wasn't not excited, I was kind of just, eh. But then SHOT Show this year, right after I got offered one of these, to buy, not as a freebie. <laughs> so I picked it up, thinking, well, we haven't had much new. 
And since it was so early on, the news that these were nearly a one-for-one -one Vithyaz, or Sega 9 clone, hadn't really reached yet. Keep in mind, before this year, people spent thousands of dollars trying to do a Vithyaz clone out of other guns. So yeah, we get this in. Hey, fit and finish looks pretty great. Take it to the range. Runs perfectly. In fact, I just shot again last week. Jay and I both now own one. And uh, have thousands of rounds through our two with the, without an issue. And I know there's some talk here and there and Rob Ski's done a video and you know what not what not hey whatever but since we can't get Sega imports this is the uh, next best thing and honestly in my opinion aside from a, a few QC things which to be fair KUSA's customer support acknowledges and has either fixed or is fixing they weren't major problems like cracked trunnions or reliability they, they were things like some of them developed a little crack on the back of the dust cover, which was mostly cosmetic. A few people have had less than great looking rivets. They were still holding, just, you know, little things like that. But, all in all, I'd say for a brand new company, in the first or second attempt, if you want to count their shotgun as their first attempt, I'm duly impressed, and as you know, Jen, I both like pistol caliber carbines, PCCs, a lot. They um, they can just be a lot of fun. This comes with a folding stock and threaded muzzle, half by 28. And it's one of those guns that we really enjoy taking to the range. So sometimes it's just nice to be pleasantly surprised, and it was nice to be able to give a good review on it and. We did a pretty exhaustive one early in the year, so it was a lot of fun to do that video, and a gun that I'm thankfully kind of happy to see a U.S. made Kalashnikov type that potentially will live up. But yeah, for more on this, we've got a number of videos as well. Well, this was just kind of a last minute video just to do for the holiday. Hope you're all having a good one. Gotta get running for now, but we'll be back with fresh content this weekend. So wishing you and yours a safe holiday. And Jan and I both will see you very soon next time.